What if you want to make edits to a Photoshop file or maybe create something from scratch, but you don't have Photoshop installed on your device? Or maybe you have a Chromebook or in this case, a tablet that runs Chrome OS. This is the 2018 Google Pixel Slate, by the way. And all you need to do is to simply open your browser, go to photoshop.adobe.com and sign in to access Photoshop on the web. It's not free, but it's included in all Photoshop plans. You, you can try it for free though, so don't panic. Here you can check out some hands-on tutorials on how to adjust colors, how to use generative AI, replace the background and add text and so on. And you can also use these nice quick actions like blur background or auto tone, for example. Let's scroll back up and here on the top right, you can choose to either create a new file or import a file. You can even import a layered PSD file like this one that I downloaded from the link in the description. The file opens inside the browser tab. You have some tools on the left, which you can expand or collapse by clicking this button here. And you can show or hide some panels on the right, like the layers panel, the properties panel, and the comments panel for collaboration. Also, there's a contextual taskbar that recommends the most relevant next steps in the workflow. Generative fill and generative expand are available, so you can use AI here as well. And there's a lot of features here. Opacity, blend modes, adjustment layers, effects or layer styles, layer masks, clipping masks. You can see here the burger is inside the clipping mask. And if you click on the layers panel menu, you'll reveal all these layer actions. On the left hand side, make sure you expand the tools panel and you'll see additional features as well. Some alignment options under the move tool, crop settings under the crop tool. You can easily resize for social media here. Amazing selection tools, including the object selection tool. Under retouch, you'll see all these tools, including the new remove tool that uses AI to remove unwanted objects. Some beautiful quick actions there are a lot of brush presets under the brush tool, a lot of text presets under the type tool, and some foreground and background color settings. Open the menu on the top left, and you can resize the image and see previous versions of the file. Click on the hamburger icon, not the burger itself, for additional settings like view settings, export options, and app preferences. And when you're done, you can keep this file as a cloud document, download it in different formats, or even open it in the Photoshop desktop app, which I don't have because this is a Chromebook. That's the whole point.